Have you ever dreamed of leaving it all behind to go and live La Dolce Vita in Italy? To go from cycling through an olive grove in the rustic countryside to strolling along the Mediterranean to then exploring the picturesque towns with amazing churches and medieval squares. Oh, and let's not forget all the delicious food you'd be eating. Well, what's stopping you? Come join me as I go hunting for your dream house in Southern Puglia. So I am dream house hunting in Salento, the southernmost part of Puglia. And the first stop on my itinerary is the beautiful city of Nardò. I already have some visits lined up to view some spectacular properties in some really beautiful locations and I'm excited to take you along. So uh, if you will, come with me and let me show you Nardò. Nardò is a gem of a city. Walking around you'll find gorgeous Baroque art at every corner and it also has one of the most beautiful squares in all of Puglia, Piazza Salandra which I'd call nothing less than a photographer's dream. It's the second largest city of the province of Lecce by population, with just under 31,000 residents. Now, if you're considering relocating to Nardò, know that it really isn't very touristy at all, though July and August do see a large influx of visitors. Also, the entire historic center is closed off from motorized traffic, so it's a great place to calmly walk around, socialize, or cycle also great for kids and it's only seven kilometers or 10 minute car ride to the coast. Piazza Salandra is known as the living room of Nardò and it's easy to see why. There are people sitting everywhere uh, having drinks or something to eat at the little, little restaurants or cafes that, that are all about and uh, all throughout the year there's tons of events during the summer uh, right in a few days there's going to be the, the feast of the, the patron saint here in the city and so it's just a wonderful place to be. It's gorgeous to look at too. <laughs> Before visiting any house, I need some food. I mean, come on, we're in Italy. So let's stop for some delicious local pastries. First things first, a good breakfast to start today. And I went all out. So we're starting with a cappuccino. And then three amazing pastries. So we have, this is uh, a tetta della monaca. Then here is the uh, sfogliatella. And in the back here is the pasticciotto. This morning I am not going light, <laughs> but that's okay. And then uh, this wonderful cappuccino. Oh man, this is the small uh, sfogliatella. Mm, crunching, but not dry. And then it's also filled <laughs> with cream. And then finally, Tetta della Monaca. Mm. This is definitely the lightest one. It's filled with the same cream as the sfogliatella. I breathed in a bunch of, a bunch of powdered sugar when I took my first bite. Be, be, be careful about that. Man. The next and final stop before my house visit is at Nardo's Cathedral dedicated to the Assumption of the Virgin Mary. The history of Nardò and its cathedral go hand in hand. The building was first constructed in the 7th century by Greek monks fleeing iconoclast persecutions in the Eastern Roman Empire. The paintings and sculptures you'll encounter today in its many chapels reflects the mix of medieval and Baroque elements with which it has been enriched throughout the centuries. It is truly a sanctuary in the heart of the city. or Italian city cats all over the place. But they're really nice.
just arrived at the first house and it's right in front of this church here. I'm excited to go visit it. So this is the, the house. As you can see, it has a great view of uh, the church here, right next to Piazza Salandra. They have a little restaurant below it, and I think it's the whole first floor, and which is the second floor in the US. Just wait for the agent to come and visit, and we'll, we'll have a look. So in order to save time with uh, subtitles, I'm going to do a voiceover for this part. So you arrive at the top of the stairs for the apartment and you can see it's kind of divided in two parts with another door which will bring you up to the upper terrace. So this is the first apartment with, uh, you immediately enter this into this kitchen room with stairs going up to the, uh, the improvised bedroom. This is called a, a sopalco in Italian, um, and it's basically made pretty often in, in houses in Puglia in order to take advantage of the, the high ceilings. So it kind of creates a, a division where there would have been none. So they des decided to create an extra bedroom up here. Notice also the, the original tiles, which are absolutely gorgeous. And also here's the, the bathroom, sorry for the, the lighting. And right next to this room we have the main bedroom. Uh, absolutely gorgeous, the original tiles, the high ceiling, and then you have this spectacular uh, view of the square. Uh, definitely, for me, the, the high point of this house. It's all about location. So there's the, the original tile floors, the high ceilings, extremely elegant. You have uh, air conditioning and um, a pellet stove for heating as well. So it is uh, equipped, ready to be lived in. <laughs> the, the house is also sold with all furniture, so the beds, the uh, couches, chairs, tables, everything is included in the sale. So here we're entering into the second apartment. Uh, you have the closet uh, to the left and you enter immediately into the, the kitchen area. <clears throat> you can see the uh, this ceiling is uh, a botte, so it's uh, like a barrel a barrel formed ceiling and if you go straight it'll bring you out to this little terrace if you were to go right it would bring you into this kitchen room sorry i ran out of battery at that point i had to, to change but uh this was right to the right of that kitchen and so it's like a little living room dining room with uh, another um, beautiful high ceiling this one is, is is painted decorated and your second main bedroom here once again, just, just gorgeous, just really uh, well kept, very typical. The amazing original tiles, which you can see are, are different in each room as well, which is quite charming. This is the uh, outside terrace, which you kind of saw from the kitchen before. There it is looking, looking back, that living room. And if you go through here, you have the, the bathroom with, with the bath, uh, the, the washing machine, everything else you need. And it kind of circles around then into the terrace again. So this is the full downstairs living area. So you can see it is one property being sold and it's divided into two apartments. And that's optimal if you were to want to rent this out, especially during the, the busy summer months. You have two separate independent areas, which you can also, if you decided to live here, uh, easily unite. Okay, so now let's head out of the apartment area and head upstairs to check out the rooftop terrace. 
It's just a, another glance at the, the entrances to the two separate apartments. And a quick flight of stairs upstairs. And here we are. Mama it was man. a nice sunny day. So <laughs> we do have a, a spectacular view, obviously, from up here of the church in front, the, the, the square. And then obviously the, this space gives you tons of possibilities to work with. If you wanted to, you can have a simple solution of, of table and chairs, dining outside. You know, you can put up an umbrella uh, to kind of shield yourself from the, the harder sun during the uh, summer months. But uh, as you can see, it's very spacious and you can obviously invest as much as you want in renovating this outdoor area. You can kind of peek through this alleyway and see uh, Piazza Salandra. You really are in, in a prime position with this house. So let's uh, head downstairs. That concludes the visit. So visit the house number one was completed. The, the really high point of this is definitely the, the view. You have the great balcony, you have the original floors, with the terrace at the top, which gives you an excellent view of the main square and the square of uh, the church here in, in front. Uh, the owner, the actual owner, is willing to lower the price to 165 from the uh, published price of uh, 178, which was already lowered from uh, 195. So uh, I hope you enjoyed visit number one. Let's go uh, check out some more stuff in Nardo. Another beautiful corner of this city is its castle and botanical garden. Originally protective fortification and later a noble residence, it now houses Nardo's Town Hall. And lucky me, now it's lunchtime. This is the burratina with dried tomatoes and some uh, sardines. This looks absolutely delicious. Mm. Mm. Now I see why they put them all in the same dish. Okay, so my uh, main order has arrived and I got the uh, pure di fava con cicoria, which is a uh, fava bean puree and uh, chicory. This is very typical of the region here. And uh, ciceriatria, which is a uh, pasta with fried pasta and uh, chickpeas. You can kind of see that there. Mm. Top, top. So let's try this pasta. Mmm. There's a bit of pepper in it too. It's a good mix of the fried crunchy part and the soft pasta. Excellent. Thanks for joining me on this tour of Nardo. I have many more tours coming up, so if you like the concept, uh, subscribe, like, share, and uh, tune in soon, and we're going to discover some another amazing gems here in Salento.